talk a little bit about what those things are. Uh, and eventually you'll get really um, final rendered dragons. This is an example of, uh, of one of the dragons here, just to give you a sense of the, of the detail here. This is the Grand Colty. Now you know why I think it's cool. <laughs> it's really not that scary, though. We, sm we made him smile a little bit more in the film, just to not scare the kids. But, uh, it's two headed. <laughs> and of course, each of these dragons have their own personalities, their own fire type. Again, the deadly natter. This one's very cool. Of course, he has cool fire, too. I love that. Kind of like, almost like a fireworks fire. Uh, Ronald shoots these fireballs, which are totally cool. And then uh, the deadly, uh, sorry, the, the monstrous nightmare, who, who basically shoots lots of fire and catches on fire. Oops. We also have the uh, Night Fury, which is the one that uh, picks up these things as well. He's a little scary here, but he's, uh, he's much nicer. So that's kind of the dragons, and then I, I also maybe just share a little bit with you about some of the Vikings. So this is our main character, Hiccup. Uh, early on, we do some sketches like this, we do some character poses, and we start to define the personality and character of the, of, of the uh, character. Um, he actually changed a lot in the course of the film. He started out much younger, got a little bit older, uh, as he started to develop the story, moved away from a, a boy and his dragon to a father-son story, so he got a little bit older, probably gained five years or so in the process. Um, but this is actually a rendered image, so what you're going to see and what I'm going to talk about is how do we go from some of that concept work to a final image where you have the richness that you see on the right-hand side. I mean, this is state-of-the-art 2010 <coughs> CG filmmaking at DreamWorks, which is 